Well, hello, and welcome to QuipCon. We have an as, as, uh, one of these right here, that kind of sheeter. Go ahead and pronounce it. I'll wait. There you go. Um, not a grammar expert by any means. I'm not into grammarification. I am into machinery. Let me show you how well this works. Got a uh, handle here. This adjusts the thickness. I'll start out way up here. I'm going to set the camera right there. You can see the rollers. And as I lower it down, it goes down. Wow. Very exciting. It has guards here. Keep you from getting your fingers or toes in there. If you're getting your toes in there, you're probably doing something wrong. Now, we have a emergency stop switch. Click that up. Power switch right here. It says start auxiliary. Click that on. It's ready to go. We got a white light there. That means we're ready. White for go. Everything adjusted, everything ready. Now, the big secret of this is it's foot powered. Oh, you don't have to pedal it. You just have to push the buttons with your foot. Push on this one, and it goes in that direction. Push on that one, and it goes in that direction. Now you notice, this is very exciting, so pay very close attention to this. If I push in this direction, which would be to my left, well, to your left too, I guess, See how slow the dough was moving? I push it in the right direction and it takes off real fast. Well, it's supposed to do that. This belt, the belt that is receiving the dough, is supposed to move faster than the belt that is catching the dough so that your dough doesn't pile up. So here we go. I'm going to set it about right there. I've got this thickness right there. It's not going to do much, but it is going to pass through. There we go. Kind of squished it out a little bit, made it nice and flat. Now remember, this is this is Quipcon dough, which means it's flour and water, uh, which is basically kindergarten glue. So we're working with glue, which reminds me, if flour and water make glue, when you add sugar and eggs, it becomes cookies. What happens to the glue? That kind of worries me. Things like that. I have a lot of time to think about things like that. There we go through again. We're getting a little more sheeted. Go one more time, go about right here. I'm gonna to try to put the camera right down here so you can get a, kind of like one of these 3D Shrek movies. And here it comes out, you. Ah! There we go, it's sheeted. One more time. Now it does have a stop right here that uh, keeps you from getting too thin. I have a thing that keeps me from getting too thin. They're called cookies. There we go. I'm going that direction. And look at that. Very nice. Now we have a reeler here. I'm going to run it back to the other direction. And oop, I didn't go all the way through. See, I stopped here. You can see my little, little bump there. I'm going to go all the way through with it. All the way through. Oh, almost. See, it's sticking right there. Here we go. Now we'll come back. And it's a little hard to do this holding the camera. I've only got one hand to work with. So I'm going to get it started. Oh, get it started on the reeler. I should have showed you how easy to pick that up. Here we go. Now, why did I do that? I have no idea. Now, actually, I can take this reeler over to a cutting station and put my dough out on a cutting station and cut it. Or I can carry it and hand cut it. Or, um, well, I guess you can do lots of stuff with it. I don't really know. That's your business, what you do with your dough after it's, after it's sheeted. My dough is very sticky. Probably would have been wise for me to put a little bit of flour on that before I did that. Never been accused of being wise, though. All right. Now, I am going to run it down this way one more time. Whoops. Now, keep in mind, all this is a whole lot easier if you're not up on a pallet. See, we're up on a pallet here, so my uh, foot pedals are a little, little higher than they should be. 
If you got uh, your foot pedal lined up, it's easy to move back and forth. I actually got to hold my foot up and down, but I'm sure you know all that. You want to go one more time. I'm going to flatten it out to as flat as my guard is setting it. There we go. That is some nicely sheeted dough. I may do that a few hundred times just because I like to. <laughs> All right. Now I'm playing. So you do know that it works. And uh, hopefully your dough is in a little better shape than my dough. <laughs> Excuse me, my glue. There we go. Yeah, I really need to keep flour on there. And where would I get the flour? Well, look at this. A nice tray for flour built right in. Catch tray down here for all your flour scraps. Belts here to keep flour off the floor. I'm not going to keep it all off, but it's going to help. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Safety stop switch. You fall inside. You just reach right out and hit that safety stop switch. Not recommended, but uh, it's better to have it than not have it, I guess. Hopefully you never need it. Let's see. Basically, that's about it. If any questions on this, you can give us a call. Our phone number is 636 583-8200 and our website which you will be able to see some lovely pictures of this item on is www.quipcon that's q-u-i-p-c-o-n dot com so if you have any questions about uh, the voltage or um, amperage anything like that hook up how to use it what it does you can go to our website www.quipcon q-u-i-p C-O-N dot com. All the information will be there.